In this tutorial, I am going to share my top five straightening tips you can use to get silky smooth results while keeping your hair safe during heat styling. Tip number one, make sure your hair is very clean before introducing direct heat. I always start by clarifying my scalp and hair to make sure all product from previous styling is removed. You do not want to heat up dirty hair. That's how you end up with a greasy burned blowout. This cleanser also keeps my scalp hydrated and balanced and prepares the cuticle layer of my strands to receive conditioning treatment. Tip number two, always deep condition to protect your strands during heat styling. I use my curl restoring treatment to moisturize, strengthen, and smooth the cuticle layer. The quinoa protein in this makes it a perfect weekly treatment for all hair types because quinoa is the only plant-based protein that contains all nine essential amino acids not produced naturally in the body that helps strengthen and protect hair. The butters, essential oils, and botanicals in the treatment provide balance, so what you get is improved elasticity. That means your hair stretches without breaking, which means less split ends and more length retention and healthier hair. Tip number three, always use a heat protectant. You should also read the directions on your heat protectant before because many of them tell you to apply directly to your wet hair and skip the leave-ins so the protectant can actually attach to your strands and protect you. I am using a heat protectant that I formulated. Now, COVID messed up my timeline, but I am currently working on getting this along with some other newness to shelves in 2021. In the meantime, use a heat protectant you already have, or you can view my straightening techniques playlist here on my channel to see some that I have used over the years. Just make sure you use one. Tip number four, use a hooded dryer to reduce labor in the drying process. Typically you've seen me blow dry my hair from wet to dry with a round brush or paddle brush, but with this amount of hair, that can be extremely tiring. So I'm going to save myself some physical labor and sit under my Red Kiss Pro ceramic hooded dryer. If you have a lot of shrinkage as your hair dries, Try two strand twisting large sections so it stays more stretched under the dryer. And as always, you can still do the wet to dry tension method I've shown in previous straightening tutorials if that works better for you. Tip number five, always use ceramic tools to protect your hair from heat damage. Titanium tools give that super slick silkiness that a lot of people love, but they give those results a lot of times at the cost of your curl pattern if you're not very careful. And even with being very careful, the risk is still higher. The goal in straightening is not to try to knock out every little bit of texture you have because that can push your hair past the elasticity limit. I am using the FHI Platform 1900 Ceramic Pro Hair Dryer in Rose Gold and the Tangle Teaser Super Quick Blow Dry Heat Resistant Vented Brush to stretch and smooth. This blow dryer seals in moisture, repels humidity, reduces dry time, and gives smoother results with tourmaline ceramic technology. It includes a very sturdy diffuser that moves air in a circular motion to prevent frizz. It also comes with a straightening comb and a concentrator nozzle and a storage bag to keep everything together. FHI is one of my favorite tool brands I've been using for about 15 years now. The quality, the durability, the heat control, the accessories they come with, it just makes it a good investment on a dryer. Not to mention, can we get into this rose gold? There is nothing like a beautiful tool to make you feel more interested in the labor of styling. Next, I am going to use the FHI Platform 1-inch Signature Pro Styler. This flat iron has three layers of ceramic plating infused with tourmaline for controlled heat distribution. It uses negative ions to make hair softer and smoother in just one pass. This iron also has automatic shutoff and dual voltage. The temperature on this iron can be set from 140 up to 450 degrees, 
I am using it at 380 degrees. I just love the way this iron glides and how it recovers and holds temperature after each pass. When flat ironing, here are a few tips. Make sure you are using a carbon heat resistant tool for your iron to chase down the sections. This prevents you from damaging your hair with an overheated melting comb or brush. And of course, make sure your tools are clean before you start. Also, make sure you are taking sections less than the length of the iron's plates. And vertically, your section should be about half an inch. And last, apply a bit of tension on that iron. I think a lot of you are so scared that you're ever so lightly barely touching your hair with the iron that you're not getting the result you want in the one pass. Apply a little bit of pressure and squeeze that iron some. To finish up, I am going to cut my ends, which I do about three times a year. I cut wet and dry, depends on the mood I'm in, but also I have consistent shrinkage so it doesn't matter for me. If you have varying levels of shrinkage and most of the time you wear natural styles, you'll probably benefit more from a curly cut to make sure your shape is how you want it. Depending on just how much variance of texture and shrinkage you have, that could result in an uneven appearance when you straighten. But if you only straighten your hair every now and then, you can just style around it on your blowout. Keeping your ends cut allows you to keep more of the length you grow. It doesn't have any bearing on the rate of growth, but clean ends just look better and they style better. There is nothing cute about tattered ends. You gots to cut them. After cutting, I am applying a quarter sized amount of Aveda smoothing fluid and then I will go in and add a few barrel curls to the ends for a little movement and body and then I'm done. Total time on this process was about an hour and 45 minutes. At night, I wrap my hair in a bantu knot on top of my head and cover with a scarf or a satin lined cap. I hope you heard or saw something helpful you can use next time you straighten your hair. You can find links to everything used, including links to other related tutorials in the about section below or by visiting monoshair.com.